Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on bin number one. So this is our 10-gallon tote that we've been following for about a year now, and it's time to really start harvesting these castings. So today what we're going to do is I've not added food, I think, the last time, and we've kind of let them work through the material, but we're going to try to do a baiting type system here. So I actually have half a melon that we're going to add to this system, and we're going to put that towards the bottom, and we're going to see if we can get all the worms to move into that melon so we can just take them out all at once, and that way the material is essentially harvested or self-harvesting really in a way. Uh, and if there's some worms left in there, that's okay. I don't mind actually putting those out in my garden, in my yard, but this way we can get the majority of them out and get those moved into a new system. So with that, let's go and take a look, and I'll show you how I'm going to do this and set this up as we add this to one of the corners of the, the bin itself, and bury it down underneath to make sure we don't get any, uh, any unwanted insect activity in there, and hopefully we'll see uh, in the future a, a nice harvest from this of worms as they go in and form a worm ball, hopefully, in this, uh, in this cantaloupe. So let's go and take a look. All right, here's our bin number one. See, it's been 11 days since our last update. This is our, our last update. This is today, our current update. On the top here, let's flip this over. Just a tiny bit of moisture over here. Not much going on. Little spider in there as well, but that's okay. Put this behind me, grab my glove here, and let's start taking a look through this and see how it is. I mean, I know that this has been doing really, really well. Um, you can see there's a couple worms actually on here. And we'll just put that off to the side. And we've got our little, uh, cloth over here which they will slowly chew through as well but that's okay we can let that sit and I think this is the last side we would have fed on and you can just see material over here looks phenomenal quite a bit of worm activity in this area as well you can really see them in there but now we're going to move this around a little bit we're just going to dig it up again really mix everything up really well but you can see this material it still just looks phenomenal it's a little bit moist in this corner over here, which can happen if we just fed over here. It's getting a little bit stuck. That's okay though. But the worms look pretty good, look nice and healthy. Material looks great still. They've worked through even more of it. You can see there's very, very little cardboard in this. I'm just gonna move this back over to this side. I mean, they really did a great job of this, this, this system itself. And this, remember, this only had the lid on it. And every once in a while we would take it off to air it out a little bit, but you can see the worms are just working all through this material. I mean, it looks really, really good in here. I'm really impressed with how they're doing. I'm not seeing too many cocoons, but that's okay. There are tons of worms in here, though, which is nice to see as well. If you do any see, see any cocoons in the video while I'm doing this, just leave a comment down below at the time frame that you saw it so I know, because I, sometimes you see things that I cannot see from my side. That's one of those things with uh, video. I'm recording from the opposite way that I'm looking. So these just looks really good. It's a lot of small worms in here, a lot of tiny worms, but that's okay. Got a little little bit of banana stem right there. Those do take a long time to break down, and I do go through a lot of bananas in this house. So all this material, though, it just looks all really, really good. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to empty out this center section. We're going to do this pretty quick. We're not going to keep this open for too long today. We're going to leave a little bit right there in the center, like that. But we want to make sure we cover this up because I don't want to have fruit flies on it. And I have right here, this is not frozen, okay? This is a cantaloupe that was harvested a little bit too early because the deer ate the stem off of it from my garden, which they did to all of them. And we're going to put that right down in the center here. I'm going to add a little bit more, oops, a little bit more to the center here, just so it's off the ground. I want to make sure it's off the ground uh, so that way they can get underneath it. We're going to put this down right there, and we're going to cover this up, all right? And we're going to come back here in about a week. And I'm hoping, or less, maybe maybe in a few days, we'll come back here and just check this out and see how this is doing. But we really want to make sure this is covered really well and buried. I don't really want to have any fruit flies getting in here and finding this stuff out. But you can see, I mean, like, you see all these worms in here. And there's just really a lot of them. It's good quality of worms, good quantities in here. So they've done a great job. We're just going to put this just like that in the center here. And we're going to let this be. That's all we're really doing with this one. We're just going to fill this up like that. Hopefully these worms will migrate from all these sections to the center. We'll be able to harvest a big worm ball out of here, put that in a new bin, and then we can do the same thing again and see if we can get some more. And that's going to be my update for this bin. It's been it's a quick update really for this week, but I don't really want to play around with this too much. Let me put this over here too. We're going to throw this back on top there. 
you know, but as, I, as you can see, the moisture content looks pretty good. You know, it's not too uh, dry, not too wet. The castings look great. And this is, this stuff, I mean, if you don't want to harvest your worms, this stuff could be added directly to your yard. Uh, you know, you could just take this and say, okay, let me just harvest a little bit. I'll put those in a new bin and boom, this could go right into your yard. You don't have to do anything else with it, but it looks really good, this material. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Again, I am leaving the lid on this because the moisture content looks about right. Uh, if not to maybe the slightest slight bit dry side maybe, but it's, it's perfectly fine, I think, for what it is, especially with trying to harvest those castings. So with that, I'll let you go and thank you for watching.